Introducing the DGH-55B Ultrasonic Pachymeter, or PACMATE-2 for short. Whether you're screening for glaucoma or preparing for LASIK or other eye surgery, the PACMATE-2 gives you two great ways to measure the thickness of your patient's cornea. The mapping measurement mode is useful for LRIs and other procedures where a detailed profile of the cornea is required. In this mode, you can take measurements one at a time, each in a different location, and assemble a complete map of your patient's cornea. If you need that level of detail, this can be an invaluable tool. The continuous averaging measurement mode is used primarily for glaucoma and LASIK screening. In this mode, you only need to measure the patient's cornea in one location. In a little more than a second, the PACMATE 2 will take 25 separate measurements. The unit then automatically displays the average of all the measurements, as well as the standard deviation. This is how most technicians use our pachymeter, and it's also how we ship the unit from the factory. So if continuous averaging is what you need, you'll be ready to start right out of the box. Let's take a closer look. The PACMATE 2 includes an LCD screen where you can review your measurements, simple controls to help you adjust your settings and navigate your measurements, and the ultrasonic probe itself. You can easily adjust the angle of the probe to make the procedure more comfortable for you and for your patient. Rotate the probe into the body of the device for protection during storage and transport, and pull it back out again the next time you need it. And you can also detach the probe entirely for cleaning. It is important to clean and disinfect the probe before each biometry procedure to avoid cross-contamination and to reduce the risk of infection. Please see the user manual for details. When you're finished, reattach the probe to the unit and make sure it's properly connected. Before you begin the biometry procedure, be sure to administer routine topical anesthetic to the patient's eye. Then inspect the detachable probe. Verify that it's properly seated in the probe rotator. Make sure that the tip of the probe is clean and dry. Be sure to check for any nicks, scratches, or other defects that could injure the cornea, and set the probe at a comfortable angle. Next, press the power button to turn on the unit. The PACMATE 2 will automatically run a self-diagnostic. If all's well, it will show you the status of the rechargeable battery, and then it will prompt you to begin measuring the patient's right eye. Please note, if you do not begin taking measurements within 60 seconds, the unit will automatically go into standby mode to save the battery, and you'll see a black cursor blinking on the screen. Three minutes later, the screen will go blank as the unit switches to sleep mode. Either way, you can just press the power key again when you're ready to begin your measurements. Once the anesthetic has taken effect, you can gently touch the tip of the probe to the patient's cornea. Proper applanation is vital. That is, the flat tip of the probe must be in full contact with the cornea, and the probe itself must be perpendicular to the surface of the cornea. The correct angle will be different depending on which part of the cornea you're measuring. Caution: In order to avoid injuring the cornea, please do not use excessive pressure and please never slide the probe or change your alignment while in contact with the cornea. Instead, disengage, adjust the probe, and then gently re-engage. If you maintain contact with the cornea for three seconds without proper alignment, you'll hear a long beep. Your applanation is not correct. Again, disengage, adjust the probe, and gently try again. Once you find the correct position, the unit will automatically begin taking measurements and you'll hear a quick beep for each one. When you hear two long beeps, your first set of measurements is complete. The screen briefly displays your average measurement and then it prompts you to move on to the left eye. Again, gently touch the probe to the eye and listen for the beeps. Once you've completed your measurements for both eyes, take a closer look at the screen. 
you'll see which eye you're looking at, how many measurements you performed, your average measurement, and the standard deviation. You can use the left and right arrows to see the measurements for the patient's other eye. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through the individual measurements. Press the delete button to erase a measurement and automatically recalculate the average for that eye. Or press and hold the enter key to send your complete set of measurements to your printer or your PC over a Bluetooth connection. Please see the user manual for help pairing your Bluetooth devices. When you're finished, just press and hold the power button to turn the unit off, and then rotate the probe back into the body of the unit to keep the probe safe until your next biometry appointment. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit www.dghtechnology.com.